I'm a survivor, I'm here, and the Lord had so much more for me. Unfortunately, there was a family that was involved in my life. There was just unspeakable evil involved in that family, even when I didn't know it, even when I thought I'd already dealt with it. It was scary remembering all of that because flashbacks are hard, nightmares are hard. Um, it's hard, life is tough, but when you have a trauma, man, it can be even tougher. You don't know what's wrong and you can't voice why. Actually, as I sit here now, I have this thing called soda light sitting in my hand and it helps me speak my truth. And so um, I'm learning to speak my truth. As being a believer in Jesus Christ, my beliefs about myself was not lining up with what he says. I had an intense fear of abandonment. I can name that now, but didn't know it then, but I had a lot of anxiety that they were gonna leave. A huge, huge, huge turning point in my life was 2012 when I studied abroad in Argentina. And I had a friend point blank look me in the face and say, do you understand the depth of the lies that you're believing about yourself? The turning point for me of really understanding that something was wrong, majorly wrong, and that I needed to do something was when I was sitting with my friend in her office and she said, and Laura, I'm not gonna just drop you off and leave. And like hearing that and knowing where I was at that time was so special to me, but it was so very hard because the next thing I had to do was make some phone calls to Honey Lake, to family members, and it was time for the mask to come off and it to connect. Um, sorry, not sorry, to connect um, to all the parts inside. And the next day I, I arrived at Honey Lake.